chapter 28, steering systems and integral steering gears, day 3, video 10, assembly. So what we've got is the this refurbished uh, steering knuckle, we replaced the bushings on it, um, reserts, new kingpin, all the new components go through there, and now we're ready to go back together. So a couple of uh, hits here for easy assembly, a little bit of lubricant, whether it be grease or a little bit of oil. Uh, make sure all the components are clean, the ends are clean here, we've knocked off all the dirt and dust, uh, any uh, burrs that have occurred on here, get those um, straightened out. And then even that, uh, the, this uh, board that goes to the end of the sear axle, if it's got rust and corrosion in there, Maybe a drum sander or a flapper wheel come in here and clean that out so that the king pin is able to slide through there uh, fairly easily. So some lubricant in there too. Uh, another piece of, of advice I'd give you too is that uh, king pin, um, make sure that we've got that lined up properly. So here's the, the opening or the hole for the uh, draw key to go through that, that holds the uh, king pin in place. And then here's that notch where that um, draw key engages the king pin to keep it from turning and, and moving up and down. So when you get this on there and you start pushing that king pin through, um, I would advise you to try and make sure that you've got that lined up best as you can so that when it pushes through that that notch will line up perfectly with that uh, draw key, the opening. Uh, if it's twisted and turned just a little bit off, um, thinking that that draw key will come through and cause that kingpin to turn around the right direction is very unlikely that will happen. And then thinking, oh, when I get close, I get it in there, I'll just grab a hold of that kingpin with the vice grips and turn it. Uh, again, it's very unlikely that'll happen because we've got such tight tolerances between the bushings and the kingpin. And then it's going through all that surface area in here, in, this, in the end of the uh, steering uh, axle. Uh, so do your best to make sure that's lined up uh, so that when it comes together, um, that those, uh, the, the notch lines up with the draw key hole here in the axle. Uh, likewise, too, is uh, it may be that that king pin will go in either way, top to bottom or bottom to top. Uh, let's make sure we get that king pin located in there the proper direction because this notch is offset to the top as opposed to centered or down low so that it lines up just right. So you could put this king pin in upside down, get everything lined up. The, the king pin is pushed all the way through. It's at the same height to the top and the bottom, and that relief is nowhere near. Where that draw key needs to come through. So a lot of times if it matters they'll put top on the top of the uh, king pin so that you put it uh, together the proper way. So another kind of thing to note here is we've got a uh, thrust bearing here on the bottom so the weight that's transferred from the axle to the steering knuckle goes through that thrust bearing or if we go the opposite way depending on how the axle is loaded goes from the the uh, knuckle through the uh, thrust bearing and into the axle. Uh, so when we're setting this together the first time there we need to make sure we've got that thrust bearing in there, located in there properly, um, slide this together and then um, uh, based on our measurements before we may put some shims in here to accommodate for vertical play. Uh, so once we slide it together then again, kingpin come through, um, draw key, and then assemble the rest of the components. <coughs> Another graphic I'm talking about, making sure those line up with that draw key right there. So we want to make sure that if there's just the one draw key, uh, we've got that kingpin in, located in the proper um, direction. Uh, again, so that when that kingpin or the draw key goes through, it comes all the way through. And again, if we've got it turned to the wrong way, that draw key is not going to turn that uh, kingpin for us. So make sure that we've got that before we try and uh, push the kingpin 
through, and then they get the draw key coming in there to retain it. 